Hi everyone, welcome to this session. Uh, today we are going to discuss some important news that is relevant as far as your competitive examinations are concerned. As you know that Israel and Palestine are full on. Uh, I mean, it can safely be said that it, th there is a war going on. Uh, you should know the history. You should know about what led to this and how uh, long this uh, thing has been going on and why this triggered out of a sudden. I'll make a separate video about uh, the history of it and the various aspects of it and how it can impact India and the world at large. So we'll talk about that separately. Uh, in general, let's cover the important news of October 11. Uh, the first news is coming uh, regarding the electoral bonds. You must be aware of electoral bonds. That is, uh, if you want to fund, uh, if you want to donate some money to a political party, you can do that. Uh, the uh, State Bank of India issues these <coughs> electoral bonds that you can buy. Uh, it comes in the denominations of 1000, 1 lakh, 1 crore and you can give that uh, anonymously to a political party. So, <coughs> is this valid? Is this uh, is, is it constitutionally valid or legally valid? So <clears throat> the Supreme Court is going to uh, discuss that. Supreme Court is going to take this up. So the Supreme Court has said that uh, after for hearing a slew of petition that is challenging uh, the electoral bond scheme. Uh, the, the Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachur said that we are here to decide the case. We will decide the case. Uh, he was responding to the submissions by Advocate Prashant Bhushan. Uh, for uh, pre uh, for petitioner NGO Association for Democratic Reform, uh, that the legality of the scheme should be decided by the Supreme Court before this election, before the 2024 Lok Sabha election. Now, uh, this timeline, when we are keeping this uh, Lok Sabha election timeline in mind, <clears throat> the court agreed uh, to the petitioners urging to focus primarily on two issues. Uh, regarding the electoral bonds that is uh, the legalization of anonymous uh, donations to political parties and violations of citizens right to information about the funding of political parties these are the two issues that will be taken up as far as uh, you know overall legality of this concept this scheme is concerned so these two issues uh, concern a violation of articles 19 article 14 article 21 of the constitution of India uh, when given a choice by the court uh, during the hearing Mr. Bhushan said he would go ahead with the hearing on these two substantial issues rather than await a seven judge bench on the uh, judgment on the legal question as to when a bill could be designated a money bill. Now as far as this aspect is concerned D.Y. Chandrachur also said that if there is a tax deduction availed by the donor then the electoral bond scheme may be a money bill. However, he did not say anything. He said that uh, this is only a discussion. So that will come out after uh, the decision comes. Uh, Arundhati Roy is in trouble because uh, Delhi Lieutenant Governor has sanctioned uh, Arundhati Roy's prosecution uh, in uh, 2010 case. Arundhati Roy, as you know, a very famous author, uh, Booker Prize winning author. Uh, she uh, wrote this book, uh, The God of Small Things and a uh, few other really uh, amazing books. Uh, but uh, in, there was this uh, a conference uh, was held in 2010 uh, by the Committee for Release of Political Prisoners uh, and under the banner Azadi, the only way. And a complaint was filed against various participants who participated in that conference and allegedly they delivered very provocative speeches more particularly regarding separation of Kashmir from India. So the case was registered on the directions of the Metropolitan Magistrate of New Delhi. Uh, then uh, Delhi uh, LG uh, VK Saxena has granted sanction to prosecute Arindati Rai and uh, Professor Sheikh Shokawat, uh, Sheikh uh, uh, Shokat Hussain in this matter. So uh, according to Raj Niva's sources, the FIR in the case was registered in 2010 and uh, so several sections are involved actually. Uh, so uh, the prosecution section has not granted under IPC section 124A. As you know that sedition is section 124A. But since uh, 
the fact that the Supreme Court in another case has directed that all pending trials, appeals and proceedings with respect to section 124A will be kept in abeyance. So that is not being used. However, uh, she is also registered under section 13 of the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act UAPA 1967 and uh, uh, several other sections of IPC. High Court uh, seeks report on voyeurism incident at ID Delhi in two weeks. Uh, you should know the meaning of the word voyeurism uh, like uh, is the kind of sexual offense where you secretly uh, film someone or uh, say for example you make a MMS you make a like someone is in their private moments uh, in washroom or having uh, sex with partner and you record that uh, so these kind of activities come under the category of voyeurism this is a, a crime under Indian penal code so the Delhi police is asked to file a status report in the case uh, where a 20 year old contractual sweeper uh, was arrested for secretly filming nearly uh, 10 girl students uh, while they were changing inside a washroom at IIT Delhi so this is the uh, case so court has asked the police to protect the victim's identity and prevent dissemination of the videos that is shot by the suspect uh, uh, this uh, news click founder case is again uh, uh, Oops, every day a new development is happening here now they have been sent to judicial custody for 10 days so uh, Prabir uh, Purkayast uh, Prabir Purkayast is the name of the news click founder and his HR head Amit Chakrabarti they have been sent to judicial custody for 10 days in the uh, UAPA case that is registered against them uh, they are of course journalists and uh, uh, so appearing for uh, him, the advocate Arshadeep Khurana has submitted that uh, they faced no allegation with reference to explosive substances or the murder of a public functionary and that they are only journalists and reporting could not be uh, become an offense. He said that journalism could not be punished for criticizing the government in power. That's the stand they are taking. A uh, center is setting up a protocol to help um, malnourished children. So the center has launched a, a standardized national protocol uh, to identify and provide extensive care to uh, malnourished children in the country. Uh, that includes fresh initiatives like appetite testing and body mother uh, concept. Now the protocol for management of uh, malnutrition in children. Uh, this was launched by Union Minister for uh, Women and Child Development, Smriti Irani, uh, in New Delhi. Uh, it has a detailed 10 step guidelines for how to identify and manage uh, the malnourished children at the Anganwadi level including a uh, decision making for referral, nutritional management and follow up care of uh, you know after intervention. Uh, in South Africa uh, uh, an 8 foot tall statue of Mahatma Gandhi has been unveiled at Tolstoy Farm. This is the same commune uh, that he started during his tenure as a lawyer uh, here in South Africa in the early uh, 20th century. Uh, so uh, this clay statue was unveiled uh, by High Commissioner of India Prabhat Kumar. 6.3% uh, is the GDP growth forecast for India in the financial year 2024. So the IMF and uh, International Monetary Fund has raised India's GDP projection marginally by 0.2% uh, from July's estimate of 6.1% uh, even as it lasts the global growth uh, forecast to 3% for financial year 24. Uh, tax collection is up by 21.8% to 9.57 lakh crore rupees. So India's net di uh, direct tax collection, it grew 21.8% uh, 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 and surpassing over half of the budget estimates for this year. Uh, with personal income tax revenues rising 32.5% and corporate taxes increasing 12.4%. Tata Motors is uh, 
uh, on track to sell 1 lakh EVs electric cars in financial year 24 so uh, is on track to sell about 1 lakh electric passenger cars uh, in the current fiscal year uh, said uh, the head marketing sales and services strategy uh, Vivek uh, Srivastav so Tata Motors has already sold 36,500 electric passenger cars in April September period uh, against 50,443 units in last year that is financial year 23 uh, state owned uh, non banking financial corporations are put under pca norms pca is prompt corrective action so the rbi has said that the strict supervisory norms under uh, pca framework will apply to the state owned non banking financial companies uh, from this month onwards that is from uh, from october 2024 onwards that is from uh, next year onwards Uh, 705 crore income tax collected under the TDS from online gaming and cryptocurrency so that itself is a huge figure about 600 crore in taxes was collected after the new online gaming regime kicked in uh, parallelly 105 crore was mopped up from the taxes on cryptocurrency trade 3000 crore uh, funds approved by Assam for uh, economic corridor project so the Assam cabinet has approved the funds for a thousand kilometer long economic corridor project uh, as said by tourism minister Jayant Malla Barua uh, 2419 crore rupees is the investment by the telecom companies under the PLI that is the production linked incentive scheme uh, so that has now crossed the halfway mark uh, I, I told you yesterday that this Claudia Goldwyn uh, has won uh, this uh, Nobel Prize in Economics for uh, her contribution to her research in uh, you know what is uh, the regarding women employment and uh, over the years how it has changed it has uh, affected so uh, her claim has been that uh, there is inconsistency in women's participation in the labor market and uh, uh, you know how to expect the future careers play uh, how do uh, future careers play a role in a women's employment rate then also she looked into the introduction of the birth control pill how that changed the trajectory of a women's career so there is a huge a full article about her research uh, on in the hindu uh, have a look at this article it's really interesting we will get to know about uh, you know uh, so many factors come into play where, as far as uh, participation of women in the workforce is concerned. Ambani is uh, the richest man uh, in India, uh, su surpassing Adani. So Mukesh Ambani has raced ahead of Gautam Adani to become the richest Indian on the list of wealthiest people in the country. So uh, he is 66 year old chairman of the diversified Reliance Industries. Uh, he saw his wealth grow by a marginal 2% to 8.08 lakh crore uh, while Adani's fortune plummered, uh, plummeted uh, by 57% to 4.74 lakh crore as per the 361 wealth Hurun India rich list 2023. Uh, Reserve Bank of India has told that Bank of Baroda to suspend the onboarding of clients on its app. So. Uh, this action is based on certain material supervisory concerns that has been observed in the manner of onboarding of their customers onto their mobile app so they have asked to suspend it for now uh, israel palestine again israel has uh, retake israel retakes gaza and uh, there have been a death toll of around more than 3000 uh, people so Israel has said that it has recaptured the Gaza border areas from the Hamas militants and the war's the death toll has passed 3000 uh, the fourth day of years fighting since the Islamists launched a surprise attack now Prime Minister of Israel uh, uh, Netanyahu uh, he has uh, warned Israel's military campaign was only the start of a sustained war to destroy Hamas and change the Middle East Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also spoke to Netanyahu. He said that India unequivocally condemns terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. And he said that soon after 
he held a telephone conversation with Israeli Prime Minister. Uh, I thank you Prime Minister Netanyahu for his phone call and providing an update on the ongoing situation. Uh, that's what he tweeted on X. This uh, 21 year old girl Shreya Dharmarajan was, has won the British High Commissioner for a day competition. So she is from Chennai. She got the chance to live a day in the shoes of a diplomat after winning a competition of the British High Commission. So uh, with a peek into the UK India partnership in action and a behind the scene look at the life as a British High Commissioner. Uh, Shreya, uh, she is a Teach for India fellow. Uh, she uh, experienced that and shared her experience uh, as per this survey as per uh, a study in lancet neurology journal uh, 10 million people could die due to stroke by 2050 so uh, this number is increasing by 50 percent uh, rising from 6.6 .6 million in 2020 to 9.7 million in 2050 Uh, we have Gaganyaan, which is uh, India's first manned mission to space. So the first jet flight of uh, Gaganyaan mission is scheduled on 21st October. So this exercise is intended to test the crew uh, module. It involves the launching the unit to outer space, bringing it back to Earth and recovering it after the touchdown in the Bay of Bengal. So after the success of Chandrayaan and so many other back-to-back -back successes of ISRO, it remains to be seen how they successfully execute this. Uh, Goa Chief Minister has inaugurated torch relay for national game. So Pramod Savant, who is the Chief Minister of Goa, he has inaugurated the torch relay for the 37th national games in a grand ceremony which was held at Goa Legislature Secretariat. Uh, we have Satvik and Chirag, they are number one now. So this uh, Satvik Sairaj and uh, Chirag Shetty, uh, they became the first Indian doubles pair uh, to achieve the coveted world number one ranking uh, following its uh, gold medal winning feat at the Asian Games recently. Alright, so that's, that's pretty much for sports. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'll discuss the uh, Israel-Palestine uh, conflict in detail in an uh, upcoming uh, video, an exclusive video for that. And uh, keep preparing, uh, keep uh, yourself aware of what is happening in and around national and international events, economic events. Uh, see you in the next uh, video, uh, next session, next class. Till then, have a good day. Goodbye.